Hello boat buyers and welcome to Marine Connection based out of West Palm Beach, Florida. My name is Damien and we're going to be showing you a wonderful boat today. It is a 2007 Seafox 236 center console and it's powered by Suzuki 200 four stroke motor. Now our service department has done a mechanical evaluation on the motor and everything has checked out fine from the steering to the lower unit to the compression on the motor. Um, we're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward and then we're going to take the boat out for a quick spin show you how she runs. So uh, starting at the back of the boat, notice that on the port side and starboard side of the boat, we have two large swim platforms. Over on the port side, we have a recess three-step boarding ladder, and you have two grab handles for easy access on and off the boat. At the center of the splash wall here, we have additional access down into your bilge area. If you ever have to do any uh, servicing or maintenance to your pumps and whatnot, you have easy access to that. And then as I walk forward over here, notice that you have easy entry into the cockpit. Now, on either side we have two jump seat cushions which are removable and notice that Seafox has this nice unique feature that you can remove the backrest cushion, just flip it and stow it away if you want that open. For those of you who are doing a lot of diving and snorkeling and getting on and off the boat, that's a convenient feature to have. At the center of the top of the transom, large live well. A lot of Seafoxes have this feature. It's about a 45 to 50 gallon live well on a 23 foot boat, which is a nice size. It is recirculating and it is operational at this time as well. We have two stern cleats, two midship cleats, and one bow cleat all the way up front. Now, coming up on the gunnel tops, we have four mounted uh, gunnel rod holders. You have two cup holders be behind each rod holder, which for those of you who fish, knows, know that it's a good feature to have on the boat. Normally when you crack open that nice soda or cold drink, whatever it might be, that's when your fish strikes, you end up putting it all over the deck. And the cockpit on the deck, it is equipped with self-failing drains, okay? And then on either side, we have more access down to the bilge. You'll see that in the pictures. Our batteries are located. The boat is equipped with the battery switch and, and uh, dual batteries center of the cockpit we have our leaning post with a removable backrest four rod rocket launcher and notice that we have a nice igloo cooler with its chocks mounted down below coming up towards the helm we have a tilt wheel in our rocker switches rocker switches include the nav lights your bilge aerator raw water wash down a couple accessory switches one is hooked up to this GPS map the 545 it's a step sounder GPS over to our right, we have a display of gauges, miles per hour, RPMs, your fuel, and your voltmeter. And then below that, we do have a VHF radio, which is operational at this time. As you can hear. And then below to the bottom right of the wheel, we do have the uh, let go trim tab switch as the boat is equipped with trim tabs. Now, we have an additional storage compartment down below with the 12 volt accessory and our stereo is mounted down here. We have two speakers to, uh, mounted on the console at this time. Cup holder off to my right. And then uh, if we come over to the left, we have uh, a closed head inside the console and it does have a porta potty. You'll see that in the pictures as well. Our T top. Canvas is in great condition. The aluminum is in good condition. We have some taco. Grand Slam outriggers mounted on here as you can see and then you have a double bow here for additional uh, if you're walking around the boat and need to grab onto it you can. Four rod rocket launcher across the top and then you have your anchor light all the way in the top side. If I come around uh, over to the bow notice the height of the gunnel. Boat's a very safe boat. We have two combing bolsters on either side for additional comfort when you're fishing. It's a little rough out there and some uh, under gunnel rod storage underneath both uh, gunnels. But uh, notice this height like I said very convenient for those of you who have children, very safe, large cockpit area in the back, plenty of fishing room. Notice the low profile bow rail gives it a nice sexy look to the boat, but it's very, uh, it serves a purpose, a nice feature to have as you're walking around. If you need a little more stability, something to grab onto, you can. This particular boat is equipped with a bow cushion, large bow cushion. I'm gonna unsnap it here and show you that underneath we have a large storage compartment. You can use it as a fish box or additional storage. It is plumbed. And then we got two steps on either side. If you if you are throwing a cast net, getting some live bait and whatnot, you do have a couple steps that you can get up here, even if you're just casting a rod. All the way forward, we have a large anchor compartment, and then that's our forward cleat up there. Um, I think I mentioned the two forward speakers. And then directly in front of the console, we have a backrest cushion. And then we have a little ice chest, if you want to call it. It is plumb storage, ice chest, whatever you want to do. It is plumb. 
and a nice feature to have as well with the additional seating. So pretty much that concludes the top side of the boat. You'll see it in the pictures. I'll tell you right now, the boat is in great condition from the gel coat to the upholstery. Um, the, the front cushion does have a little slit up here, but overall, all the cushions are in good condition and our systems are all operational. So uh, let's fire this boat up, take it out for a quick spin, show you how she runs. Good to go. concludes the uh, presentation on the 2007 Sea Fox 236 center console. As you can see, this boat is fast. Horsepower is not lacking. Motor runs beautiful. Boat's in extremely good condition all the way throughout from the gel coat to the upholstery. Everything about it. It's a great boat. Um, so from West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection, God bless. Have a great day.